here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. He's going to fill us in on some information. Scotty, take it away. Thanks, Al. Good morning, everyone. Early start here. we got a special treat for you from Castle Billiards, East Rutherford, New Jersey. We have a challenge match, East versus West. Our players today sitting behind me. Come on up. Emily Duddy, ranked number 21, Ladies World Professional Billiards Association Tour, is going to be playing from Taiwan. Z Ting Wu, ranked number 23rd in the world, current Japan Open champion, 18 years old. Hello, Taiwan people. Welcome aboard. We're going to be playing uh, a challenge match race to eight. I'm going to introduce our referee for today and he'll explain all the details. Ladies, best of luck, it's a pleasure, thank you for coming. Shoot your best, show the world what you got. There you have it, Mr. Scott Seminetti grabbing the mic, now handing it over to Bill. Morning everybody. Okay, today's format is nine ball. It's gonna be a race to eight. The players are gonna be using an alternate break system. They'll be racking their own balls and they will be calling their nine ball. Good luck, players. There you have it. Please lag for the break. How about a round of applause, folks? All right, I'm getting on the way here. Emily Duddy on the right. Z Tang Wu on the left, lagging for the break. Welcome aboard. This is AZB TV. I'm upstate Al, sitting in the booth. I'm going to be joined very shortly by Mr. Scott Simonetti himself. We're going to gear him up right now. Hey, Mr. Scott Simonetti, welcome aboard. Thank you out there for that introduction. It was really nice, everybody out here in the stream. How are you? Am I live? Am I on? You're on, aren't you? Oh, here you go. There How about go. that? Ah, much and now Scott's ah, on the air. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. All right, there you go. Mr. Scott Seminetti sitting in. Uh -oh. and we got a special appearance here. Verona Andoni just walked in. She's going to be joining us in the booth and then relieving me in about five minutes because I have to take care of other things. Oh, look at the score. I better fix that. <laughs> All right, so we're all set here. East versus West. We're ready to rock and roll. Looks like the Taiwanese champ has the won the leg. And we want to welcome aboard. Marana Andoni sitting in along with Upstate Al and uh, Scott Simonetti here as Zing Tang Wu opens up with a break but scratches. Okay, Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Ah, uh, scratch off the break. All right. Emily Duddy playing six ball from here. Could you jump to an early lead? Guys, we want to remind you if you want to purchase the pay per view for the second half of the Jason Shore. Shane Van Boning match. It's above the chat. Just click that. You're going to find the button that says Day 2 Purchase. We're going to get underway with that match right after these ladies. Approximately 2 p.m. in the afternoon on the East Coast. Shot there, no clicky. Good shot. Both players got here about an hour and a half prior, and they will have ample time to warm up. We want to say thank you to everybody that signed into the chat. If you'll please spread the word that we are live, we appreciate it. We do follow the social media and monitor. Well, I hate to use the word monitor, it sounds like we're policing everybody, but <laughs> you know, when we're on there and we're doing our post, and, and that includes everybody sitting here in the booth and people viewing when we do our post, you know, you happen to see who's posting. So yes. we appreciate it. Okay. Well, I just wanted to mention some of Emily's sponsors. Um, she is mainly sponsored by Gary Borch Dental, 
Cupod Kamui. She plays with the Steve Club Custom Q. And uh, she plays out of Amsterdam Billiards. So, um, Big shout out to every one of the sponsors because without them, these players, it's tough to get around. You know it yourself, you know, it's tough. A little extra income that they supply you with helps. It does help. Yes, for sure. A little tester here, opening game. Yeah, she's taking her time, which is good. Nice shot, good stroke, follow through. Perfect position. Looks like game one to the hometown gal. And we got you. Up one nothing. Alternate break here, so. Uh, just to be courteous to the players, please put your cell phones on vibrate. Thank you. So with this alternate break, Al, it's like uh, tennis. You want to hold your serve, you know. Yeah. Win your game that you break and. And win your opponent's game yeah, if you can. Yeah, so Emily started off good. One on uh, Absolutely. Wu's break, and uh, now she's breaking. Could actually run like a watch. modified two-pack. If know? you can pick up, watch her back leg when she breaks. She kicks up so high. If you're standing behind, behind her, she's knocking you out. Whack. Oh, wow, another scratch. Two in a row. They're going back and forth here. Let's see what the layout looks like. Guys, quick reminder, as uh, Z starts to uh, approach the one ball, we want to remind you about this raffle. You purchase a raffle ticket to win the Mez Q that's at the raffle. You also are eligible to win a free pass for the pay-per-view for Shane Van Boning, Jason Shaw, and I'll give you the contact information on how to do that as soon as we get a chance here. I got to watch uh this uh, little champion play. She's been here for about a week with uh, Caroline Powell. So Caroline Powell's got um, Miss Wu in the house, got Shane in the house. It's a house full of champions over there. Yeah. And uh, she's been in here hitting the balls around and uh, she's got a nice little little game here for 18 year old, very steady and uh, nerves don't seem to be an issue with this girl. And just know? to make a correction, uh, Scott, you know, sometimes slips up like upstate uh -oh. Al. It's <laughs> Caroline Powell O'Neill. O'Neill. And she is uh, on premises. Ah, uh, she's here, but. <laughs> yes. I, I, I got corrected <laughs> by the people in the chat many times for that. I, I forget myself, which uh, is so used to calling her. We Caroline looked at her driver's Powell. license uh, until she changed her driver's <laughs> license. <laughs> well, you know what? This is uh, going to be a break and run off of uh, Emily's scratch. Off, off so her far. scratch, yeah. Yeah, but. Uh, like I said, she, you know, she's 18, fearless. You know, it's nice to be 18, not worry about nothing. Right. Well, she has won a big tournament in Japan, which was an open tournament. So that's, um, yeah. she started like very early on in her career. Yeah, it started her, they start them young over there, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. She's got a tough schedule, this young lady, I understand. Yes, um, well I asked her and she said she started playing at 10 years old. Her dad taught her to play, but later on she also got a coach that she's working on and she plays every day, eight, ni eight to nine hours, and Sundays she plays um, in a weekly tournament. So. Wow, talking about locking down your whole week. <laughs> and this is like 365 days a year. Yeah, it's like work. Wow. Right. She's working at age 18. <laughs> she loves it, she loves to play. Well, she's got a nice little shot here let's see if she could come with a semi-tough shot she's gonna roll it or go two yeah, go it rolls it nice shot nice. now she's got a stretch here she's got it under control oh, upstate she's fine she oh. is fine good well, i'll tell you what that's uh first first two games is pretty good you know we had a scratch and a run and a scratch and a run so these uh ladies are here to play they're definitely here to play <laughs> looks good so far all clean outs all right, guys, one apiece. We're racing to eight. Now, here's the contact information. If you want to purchase a raffle ticket and be eligible to win a free pass for the pay-per-view for 2 p.m. this afternoon, you get in touch with Scott Seminetti on Facebook. That's what his profile, profile picture looks like. Notice up in the up left-hand corner, you see the late uh, George Ginky Sansushi, and they're both in the same position shooting the ball. 
Scott Seminetti. Also, you can get in touch with Castle Billiards Lounge and PM them, and that's their Facebook logo. And uh, they'll guide you through how to purchase a raffle ticket. And uh, you'll be eligible also to win a free pass. Besides, we're giving away a free pass in the chat. So we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Please share that information. Um, believe me when I tell you, I travel a long way to do these things, uh, over 500 miles. And uh, I'll be in Anchorage, Ohio for an Earl Strickland-John Mora match. And that's another 500 miles. So we appreciate the support. We're trying. If we all try together, everything works. Here we go. Now, Game three. They told me that she's got a big break here. And another kick yeah. in the leg. <laughs> she didn't scratch this time, so that's Boy, good. Boy, girls get real serious with oh, everything, no, this right? This is U.S. Open. Yeah. This is... Uh, oh, yeah. This, this you is, have no idea. This is challenge match. Yeah, I mean, you this know, is do you challenge. kick your leg like that, too? I never noticed. Um, I, a little bit. Yeah. Not that high. <laughs> Man, that's like yeah, timing. These, these girls are serious. In fact, uh, Barana and... Uh, Z Ting were practicing uh, the first night she was in town. They were hitting balls around, and they played over on uh, the table one over here for about three hours, and no one spoke to anyone. It wow, that's like pretty, pretty focused. Yeah, that's <laughs> the way to no play. Phone, no phone, no Facebook. Nothing. They didn't just move. Pure practice. They wow. didn't move. <laughs> yes, that painting in Amsterdam Billiards was done by uh, Tom Herbert. You're absolutely right. Hebert. Yeah. Yeah, that quick story on that 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 picture was is one in a, one in a million. Just so happens, like I said uh, earlier yesterday in the chat on the pay per view, um, that was for ten thousand dollar Amsterdam League finals that we were in, and Geeky was on our team until he uh, unfortunately passed during the season, and we continued. If, and someone took that picture of me shooting and it, just lined up perfectly, and and he ran over to me. He goes, "You ain't gonna believe this." And I was like, "Well," and you know, he's like look at this picture and I said oh, I gotta keep that oh that's that's priceless that's priceless. the nuts right there yeah that was pretty sharp absolutely and then we end up winning it and uh the the going line is we Ginky still wins yeah. <laughs> he's still got a name on a trophy and he's uh no longer here that's cool but yeah. you know you got the momentum you get uh on the memories you know and the memoirs uh, to go along with it it's really nice that they have this portrait hanging up there uh, we also want to remind you that Marty Herman in the chat uh, also has his, his name is Cosmo 8. has a free stream at daily. You know, it's all about breaking 10. Well, everything about pool, sometimes just discussing things. Uh, it's Herman University on uh, face, uh, Ustream. Yeah, that's a super uh, super site he's got going there. Yeah. Click on, he's uh, practicing, showing tips. Yeah. Awesome there, Marty. Yes. Looks like they're in a little bit of safety battle going on here. Yeah. I like this. This looks good. We Look need all a little the blockers. help. Oh, she's got plenty of block. I think uh, Z Ting goes air castle here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's too close, but she might take a look. Got about a half a ball to jump over. Yeah, she's pretty, pretty tight. I think she's got a kick. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Jarrett, in the chat. Glad to see you, and thank you for all you're doing, uh, sharing all the information on Facebook. Uh, it seems like you stay awake as long as I do. Every time I make a post, Jarrett's up there, and he shares <laughs> it, and he reposts it, and he puts it all over the place. Thank you to everybody, Anya and the whole crew. I, I don't know how many uh, people out there are actually sharing it, but I want to thank everyone. We well, did a little kicking around here, and mm -hmm. I don't think Emily's got a shot, so maybe keeps her disciplined, looks for a safe here. Yeah, she's definitely looking for a safe or a two-way shot. Yeah, yep. look at that. Ooh. I like that. That's I like the speed shot. of the one ball. Great Real shot. good shot. Wow, that's Alcatraz. <laughs> is that jail with no bail? Or oh, because Z Tang Wu has a name spelt with a Z, is she going to go with a Z shot? The Z shot? I don't right know. Right behind the eight ball. Wow. Cut that's the angle in? Either one, you got to put some... Uh, Heavy-duty uh, French on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if she could turn that cue ball off the left-hand long rail. You know, if she, she missed she's going, that. She's going uh, to she's the pogo. Go out. She's going to pogo stick. Wow. Yeah. I think she's got to jump over to, like, the nine and the four. Yeah. This is a tries, long jump. Yeah, I don't know if she could. Uh, she's got the strength. We're going to go to the side view, and we're going to see the form of this 18-year-old champion. 
from Taiwan. That's a long jump. Got to oh. keep the cue ball on the table. She does this six days a week. Watch this. Over to <laughs> on Sunday, she plays in the tournament. Hold oh, on, folks. Man. We're going airborne. Buckle up. Ooh, oh, yeah. The four ball. Wow. Was, she was trying to clear that floor. That was rough. Wow. But that was just an awesome save by Emily, I'll tell you. Yes, yes. Give her no options. And uh, keep an eye on the way these young ladies are playing because it's a shot like that Emily just played will keep you in a match. Definitely. Yeah, she's looking for another safe. <coughs> good shot. Another good safe. I don't know if she cut the angle down off the seven or not, but if she did, then uh, well, she's in trouble. No, she's got it. I think she's going to be able to kick, but even with that, you know, it's hard to control. Always love to get ball in hand, but... That's the next best thing. No sellout. If you're just signing on or if you're just joining us, uh, I'm Upstate Now with AZB TV, and I'm sitting in the booth alongside the legendary Scott Seminetti and the number one boss here at Castle, the <laughs> legendary Verona Andoni. Sound like uh, <laughs> Uh, 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 Devil Dave. Uh -huh. Devil Dave, people are calling me, man, that guy loves you. <laughs> well, he's not going to be here today. He usually eats and runs. And <laughs> yeah. Last time we saw him, he ate and he ran. He stuck us up for a steak yesterday. Yeah. Look at this. Um, Z made the kick oh, and left man. her safe. Yeah. She's got a little good roll there. That's nine ball. That's why she's the boss. She keeps us focused here. Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice save. Focus on the game. <laughs> okay. I know there's a lot of people just joining us. Uh, we keep jumping up in uh, viewers. I, I just want to remind some more of the people that are just signing on that we will be giving away a free pass. You have to be signed in to the chat. It'll be a free pass to the pay-per-view for Jason Shore, Shane Van Boney, which comes up at 2 p.m. Also, we will be giving, well, we're giving away two passes. One will be to the chatters that are signed in. And when we do mention your name in the chat, you got to respond to us. The other free pass is when you buy a raffle ticket for the Mez Q that they're raffling off that was graciously donated by Caroline Power and Company, Mez USA. It's a beautiful six, a stick signed by two players, Jason Shore and Shane Van Boning with the year. And when you purchase a raffle ticket, you're eligible also for a free pass. So we're giving away two free passes this morning. Oh. Or if you want to purchase the pay-per-view for uh, this afternoon, the link is above the chat. Just click that link. It'll take you to Castle Billiards. Elect to purchase day two, and uh, you'll receive your password and your username. Thank you, guys, for your support. We all thank you here. We're trying. We did a lot of work between everybody here to get this up and running. Scotty just did nothing. Scotty just stood on the side. <laughs> with a, he had a hat with a red emblem on it. It says su supervisor on it. <laughs> Uh, I bought breakfast this morning. Come on, yes, give me a did. break. He actually did buy breakfast. <laughs> Boy, it was tough getting that sandwich out of his hand. <laughs> no, yeah, only yeah, kidding. Yeah, Scotty's a winner. Bring your own ketchup, though. <laughs> all right. Well, that safe uh, came out all right for Z, and uh, now she has an opportunity to run the table here. Yeah, that was a pretty good kick battle, safe battle, and uh, looks like for now, Miss Wu is on top with the advantage here. See if she gets out. Jared says, hi, Scotty. What's going on, Jared? Good morning or afternoon or wherever we're sitting right now. <laughs> Feels like it's still 7 a.m. Yes. But we're all okay. We're running on fuel, baby. Heavy fuel. All right, B, you played Miss Wu for a couple hours. Yes. You think she's out here? Yes. <laughs> she's out. Yes, open table, um, more likely. She just runs yes, out. She huh? just runs out. Machine like. Yes. She, um, so this she, is a treat she, for me. Is she gonna roll or draw? She likes to draw. Oh, I notice. Okay. Um, Six on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Like butter. Yeah. So I played with um, Z on Tuesday for like four hours, and then I played with Emily on uh, Thursday for another four You're hours. You're sparring so partner. <laughs> You're the yeah. sparring partner. Well, that's good. Guys, let me know if the background music is too loud for you. If it's okay, just say okay. Uh, whoever that is that just, I am far from the owner. Far from it. 
Uh, I'm just a good friend, and Johnny's my great friend, and I... Uh, the way Scott cares about this room, you would think he's the owner. Yes, John Trobiano. Trobiano. John and Minnie Trobiano, the greatest owners. They've done so much for me and over the years, and when, we, when I first started coming in here, it was just a pool player and uh, coming in, and then we developed a relationship over got 11 years now and they're, they're you know now they're family i'm family and now we work as a team and well, it, z everything. doesn't z doesn't think that emily's family i mean no. she just drilled that yeah yeah, she, she, yeah she's i was thinking happy. the same thing like why didn't she well just you make told me she was out so i was gonna just comment yeah <laughs> you comment on johnny give me yeah, some props johnny, oh johnny's uh <laughs> you, you keep going with I'll that i'll tell you because uh, that's definitely uh warranted you got to put it out there go ahead yeah yeah definitely i mean uh this event this entire weekend is all johnny it was, you know, I had the little idea, let's try and do something, and he keeps giving me little projects, and, you know, we had a couple successful tournaments on a, a lower levels, and then we step it up a little bit, and 5,000 added, and it's getting crazy, so now we got two of the best players in the world, and that's what Johnny loves, and it's awesome. Definitely. Don't stand behind this young lady. Here comes the kick, the whip and the kick. Very nice, nice break. She was able and to hold on to that cue. Wow. Yeah. All right. Look at this drill. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank God I ain't shooting. I'd hit every ball. <laughs> Cut in the thread. Clip all three of those balls down the rail. One, two, and a two and a three are going to look like a one pocket match right, right. here. I doubt she's going to play the three, nine, six, seven combination here. <laughs> no, I doubt that. <laughs> but it is possible. <laughs> all right, Em. She's focused. She definitely is. Nice shot, nice shot. Nice shot. She's got a nice little angle come back down. So what are we looking at here, Bay? We're looking at a 6-7 combo. She's going to try and get below the 6. and I think she's going to try to go for the combo. So she's going to stay above it and shoot mm -hmm. it from center table? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that's the best spot to be. And All right. The safest spot to go. I agree. Got an angle, do whatever she wants with it. Center table. Try and cut down your distance. So you're coming down below. I knew she had that option, but that is yeah. risky. It's risky with the table running a little bit fast. Well, the scratch. Yeah. Oh, the scratch. But, you know, I mean, she's still got an angle. She's it's a good, back cut. Yeah. Back cut, and we know where the six is going to end up, which is the yeah. pro of this taking this angle and this, uh, this pattern. So the six should just sit right there, cue ball roll up, center table, and it'll be a pretty good out. Yeah, tough, tough. That was off tough the rail. on that angle. It's yeah, a bad off cut. The rail. It's off hard the rail. to see the. It's hard to see the does, contact point. Uh, does Z have any kind of three cushion background? Being mm. from Taiwan, I'm will she sure. like to play the carom? Ooh, good question. Hmm, I'm not sure. I didn't ask her that one. She <laughs> looked at. She looked at it. Gave it a good look. We'll find out. You know, instead of playing the long bank, you know what I mean. Yeah. She's going for the bank. Yeah. No, safety, she likes safety, safety, safety. Smart, smart. She likes safes. I like that discipline right there. You know, we watched the guys yesterday just play these two-way shots like champs. <laughs> you know, Shane was just banking his six, floating it there, coming down for it. was just, they loved the, that rule cold shot. Let's them do that two-way safes. It was, it was crazy. Shane was banking from everywhere. Yeah. Marty Herman in the chat says he has... Three cushion background. Marty does his homework. There we go. Mm -hmm. Emily has a chance to bank the six and get position on the seven. Yeah, she goes for the. She's shooting for the gold. Two good shot. shot. Good shot. Good shot. Beautiful Excellent. Shot. Beautiful. Good shot. Yeah, that was the right shot. Definitely.
So Emmy has a chance to deuce it up over here and yeah. tie it. Yeah. You know, she's taking her time here, so she just came with a, you know, a really good shot. And, you know, sometimes what I do is I do this and then I look too long at this next shot and then dog my face off. <laughs> you know, I like yeah. to stay in rhythm. You know, I understand it was a good shot, but it was just a normal shot. And then get right back up there. You overthink and boom. Yeah, she drilled that with oh, some nice English perfect. and one of the perfect. She's perfect, though. Yeah, another um, person she wanted me to mention is her coach, Mike, Mike. Napolitano. Nice. Um, so she wanted to give the credit to him, you know, for the recent year. Well, it's definitely showing now. I mean, Emily's been playing solid for the last uh, month or so that I've been watching her. Yes. So we've got a, got a nice out, getting some confidence here. You know, it was funny. Um, Z was playing in the JP Newt last weekend with Caroline and I, and a lot of matches, you know, you know, like if a girl or a player was missing, they would laugh or, you know, they, it was a friendly match. And she came over and she asked me, you know, why do girls smile here when they miss? Because yeah. <laughs> the way she learned is you don't show any kind of emotion when yeah, you play. Yeah, strict, so. strict focus. Yeah, strict. the discipline. Yeah, absolutely. Discipline. That's why uh, somebody in the uh, chat wants to know what was uh, Mike's last name, uh, Emily's coach. Napolitano. Uh, no. They call him Mikey Naps. That's Mikey Naps. You need the link for Scotty's uh, Facebook page? Okay, we'll get that for you. Perfect, perfect. Just to give a little, well, let's sweat the break here. She's got a, known for a little powerful break here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she hit some pretty square. Look wow. at this. Just a few balls. Oh wow! With shapes. Man, she's got the four, five, uh, five, six is a problem. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be tough to get on that four to bump a ball there. But just uh, while she's shooting here, and we get to see the next pow with the raffle tickets upstate, they they're gonna be able. I'm gonna send them a link that they could PayPal. Me Which payment. is uh, Castle Billiards Lounge no, at Yahoo.com. No, my my personal one. Oh, your personal. Um, one. So once they do that and the Payments confirmed. I will go and fill out tickets. Well, why don't you just give me the um, the link and I'll put it right in here. No, okay. no, no. no. I, if they PM me, I'll give them my email that they need. Uh, oh, okay. Personal email. And we'll do it that way. So in other words, PM me on Facebook. Yes. Okay. They'll get the. And the what I'll do is I'll take a. I'll fill out the tickets for you. I'll take a picture of your ticket and your numbers, and throw them in the bin. And not we, only can you win a stick, you can win a pass for the uh, event. Uh, I'll tell you what. This afternoon. <laughs> it might be worth more than a stick if they tie it up. That's a good shot. Uh-oh. Mm. Clicky, clicky. No reward, but she can come up with a save here. You know, I'll tell you what, if, if Shaw comes back today on his birthday and opens up with a nice 10-pack and gets it, you know, Well, he said distance. last night he's coming back with a vengeance. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Then And he wants to let everybody know that he did not give up in the match. He just, there was nothing you could do. Shane was on the train just, you know, yep. getting out. So. Yeah. He was Superman. We were talking about, I don't think he got out of line for like two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the uh -oh, uh -oh, uh oh good shot, but left her a shot. Yeah, Emily's right back on the table. With uh <laughs> and he'll tape and he'll tape your tickets to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey two <Tuig>. egg. <laughs> Only you. That's an inside joke. <laughs> yeah. Mikey two egg, good luck. You should buy more tickets. <laughs> Oh, she comes with a shot here. Yeah, she just has to make it and has position on the six. Yeah, well, that's what we want to see. Hopefully we don't get too straight on the six. Oh, oh, oh. Looks oh. like she's long distance. Yeah. She had a little chunky. She wanted to come yeah. a little thinner, you know? Thinner and maybe with a little more inside. Yeah, yeah. She had a little chunky. But... 
it's a tough shot here, but if she makes it, she's probably gonna, you know, the seven is near her pocket. So she just has to make sure she makes this and don't worry about anything else. Yeah, absolutely. Pocket that ball. Mike says, thanks buddy, I'll buy them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone just uh, messaged me. Um, Mike uh, wants to see a picture of the queue. We'll get it up there. Right after oh, this yeah. rack? Yeah, we got it up there right now, right Ooh. in between the shot. Oh, wow, right in between. There it is. That's the shaft signed by the both players with the year. I do not have a picture of the whole stick, but if we do get one, we will pass that along right on the broadcast. Yeah. It's a nice cue. Do we know the model? Maybe they can just look it up? Yeah, the Mez Power Break. There you go. It's the called the Mez Power Break. You can see it right on dollars Good shot. Come on down. There it is. Mez Power Break Q. So you can go over to the uh, Mez Q, uh, Mez USA. Yes. Com. Yeah, yes. And you can check it out. And you can check out. Uh, you can check it out, right? The Mez Power Break. It's even easier. This is the gentleman that sent you the message, Mike. He's in the chat. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm going to reply to you now, Mike. Thanks. And guys at home that are watching, I don't hear you applauding. <laughs> <laughs> we need something to talk about sometimes. All right, Mike, I'll flash that picture yeah. again. I'll flash that picture again as soon as we get a chance. As soon as you get the commercial uh, over on Ustream, I'll give you a couple of minutes and I'll reflash. You know, that was a that was a picture. real, real important out there by Emily um, off the, the bad safe from uh, Z. And Emily make the five, hit a little chunky, comes with a six ball and gets out. Now, these girls, I don't think, played a whole lot. So when you see your opponent just shooting right down the middle and getting out from everywhere, it helps... Uh, might tell Wu, listen, this girl could play, you know. So if you're, if I'm playing someone I know, and I they know I dog my face off like that, it's still okay. But now you're playing an unknown opponent, and you come with an out like that, and it makes you think twice. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, this ain't no cakewalk. There you have it, folks. The nine ball open, the Turning Stone Classic up at the Turning Stone Casino in Verona, New York. AZB TV, myself. Along with NYC Grind, I'll be jumping in there with AZ Billiards to bring another free stream. 128 players, Karen Core, Shane Van Boney, and Johnny Archer featured on the main poster. That's the Mike Suglin's Josh, Northeast Nine Ball Tour. Turning Stone Classic. And please don't forget, i got to keep mentioning AccuStats, make it happen, because uh, these guys are doing more and more every day. And keep abreast of what they're doing at AccuStats, accu-stats.com. Eight ball invitational coming up. Emily Duddy says, we're playing nine ball. Let's get down to business. She leads here three to two. We're going into game six. With the break. With the break. Let's see. You know, alternate break, you get a you know two-game lead. It can make it real tough mm -hmm. to come back. Short race to eight. Oh, yeah. She's parking whitey. Nice break. Look at this. Look at this. Al. Everything dressed up. The six ball might be off the rail a little bit. I think six ball. I'm taking a quick peek off a of monitor here. It looks like. Close. Yeah. It might not go on that side. She's going to have to play it down down below or get really straight on it. But I don't think she's got that cut in the side. But who knows? That's what Emily just took a look at. Uh, you know, she's already looked at every other ball up to the six. She's got her pattern down packed already. Yeah. Yep. That's it. That's it. That six ball is going to be uh, the game ball there. Right after this, uh, somewhere around 2 p.m., we're going into the pay-per-view and uh, Um, that match will be approximately 2 p.m. We're getting a little disturbed from behind us. Yes, a, we are. A fan wanted to get autographs from Barana. So 
So uh, we apologize for that, but, you know, she's got a line of people that want to sign autographs with a few walls <laughs> and stuff. Sorry about that, guys. Um, what was I saying? Uh, Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's see. Two, two o'clock. That's what you're saying. Two o'clock. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Two o'clock. I'm sorry. Right after this exhibition match by these two fine young ladies. Well, we what? missed a shot there. It was probably pretty important that she uh, looks like she overcooked it, mm -hmm. cooked the three ball and snookered herself. I don't know what she did until we missed that with the interruptions. She's got to hit this pretty good to bring it down table. She's got to hit it on the bottom of the three, just like that. Hit it good. Got to get it past that four ball, though. Hit it good? I think she did. No, she no, left it on no. the shot. She left it. I mean, it's skinny, but she left it. Yeah, it is skinny. So at 2 p.m., we're going right back to Jason Shore versus Shane Van Boning right after this match or somewhere within 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the Eastern Seaboard. And uh, the pay-per-view link is above the chat. All you got to do is click on that link, and it'll bring you to castlebilliards.com. And uh, there's a button on there that says purchase day two or day two. And um, you'll get your password, your username, and we'll, we'll love to have your board. And we thank everybody that's, that's uh, showing great support for this uh, match between Jason Shore and these fine young ladies in front of us. And we can't thank you enough, but just want to keep you up to date that there is a link above there. And we will be giving away two passes. I see that there's plenty more people signed on and maybe didn't hear the announcement. But uh, you've got to be signed into the chat to be eligible to win the free pass for this afternoon for the pay-per-view. Also, if you elect to buy raffle tickets for the Mez Break You, uh, you will be eligible to win a pass to the pay-per-view for that also. Uh, Scotty is going to generate a uh, user generator to pick names out of all the people that purchased a raffle ticket, and we will generate the names in the chat as we're going to have to capture, screen capture everybody that's in there. So when we say well, we're going to lock it down, two good. seconds later, we will lock it down. Wow. That's that a good a shot. Great right shot. There. How about this young lady right here standing in front of the dorm, Miss Allison Fisher of NYC Grind, sporting the shirts that are available to the official shirts for the challenge match. That was the back view. And this is the front view. The back view has this logo on it, Castle Billiards logo, replica of that. Beautiful shirt. Now I understand they lowered them down to $15. And then of course, plus shipping and handling. And make sure you include your address and the size that you want. So they lowered them five bucks, folks. It's a great deal to jump on their beautiful shirts. As we watch Ms. Z. These girls are playing good today. I They're here to I'm play. Loving I'm <laughs> loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. I don't think we've seen a miss yet. No. If it's a mistake, it's just a little positional error. That's yeah. about all. We haven't seen a miss. A couple scratches, you know, clean that up, and uh, someone's going to put a package together here, or their own package with the alternate break. So 3-3. Three, three. Who could ask for more? Uh -huh. Are you going to do one uh, Upstate Owl predictions of Hill Hill? Loving it. Uh, uh, the closer uh, it gets, I start to itch, like, you know, like I got fleas. <laughs> because, see, I can't help myself. My hands want to move. <laughs> I want to hit the keyboard and let everybody know that we're hill, hill. <laughs> so, please, guys, if you spread the word, you save me a lot of scratch marks. And here we go. Mrs. Z is up at the board right now. We're tied at three. We're going into game seven. We want to thank Kamui, Mez USA, NYC Grind, and, of course, AZB TV, along with Simona's Cloth, Aramis Balls. And, of course, Castle Billiards for putting this whole event together. Okay. Wow. 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 Man, you're Solid. not kidding. Does she have a break? Yes. Yes, indeed. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are. This is the first time I'm actually seeing this young lady play. Well, she's been playing safe the whole match, so... I'm imagining uh Race to eight, play. you gotta play tight. Yeah, she's gonna be playing a, mm -hmm. a little safe here. Split it, put the Yeah. Wow. Not good enough. No, she any harder she gets double kissed, but she uh she still left the tester. So here's a really, really solid shot for Emily to come with. Yeah. You know? Once again we wanna just pocket this ball. You know, you start elevating your cue, you reduce your uh accuracy. But if we could level off and roll that two up in the corner, yeah. we should be okay for the three, maybe even bump it. I think she's straight enough to go past it. Yeah, she is. Okay. 
So we just pocket roll up and uh, come with the shot. Here we go. Just stay down and make the ball. How can you get a couple of t-shirts is a question. All you have to uh, do. Yes, t-shirts we could do. We're going to, um, we could. You're going to be a busy man. Uh, they're fifteen dollars. Uh, one for fifteen, two for twenty-five. Whoa! Oh, I left that. I'm going to get one, two of them. One for fifteen, two for twenty-five. And how can they purchase these? We're going to send PayPal payment to Castle Billiards Lounge at yes. Yahoo.com. There you go. Once we have all your information, and we'll pack them up and ship them up, uh, probably uh, tomorrow to get worked on. And being a Sunday, they probably won't get shipped out till Monday. But you'll get all confirmation from uh, Scott Bannon. He'll there be you handling have it. it. One for 15, two for 25, plus shipping and handling. Make sure you include your proper address and sizes that you want. And we'll flash those shirts up on the board as soon as we get a chance to give you a better look. There's the front view right there. It's King of the Castle, and it's Jason Shore versus Shane Van Roney. And the date that they played and the back looks like this can't see the logo too good from there but this is a replica of what's on the back castle billiards lounge that's their logo i don't know if this five goes past this nine so she might have to come to the other side makes it a tougher shot but let's see what she's yeah, got she, she, uh, yeah she's hit that real wow. good folks. stroke shot good real shot. good young keith mccready right there oh wow. yeah that was cool. yeah Man, she Corey that. Duell. Yeah, baby Corey. Corey, <laughs> Corey Duell. We Corey all got Duell. our favorite players. <laughs> Corey had a little bit more bend in his, yeah. his in that five ball hit. And she stays calm. You know, sometimes when players, you see young players like this, you know, they make a great shot and they get carried away and yeah. they just miss the next one. Mm -hmm. No, this is not uh, this one. Yeah, she's so seasoned for an 18 year old. Yeah. Yeah, she don't speak. Uh, like I said, they were playing three hours and they didn't talk to each other. No. They're friends. They don't even, they didn't even talk to each other. Three hours. <laughs> we're playing. We're not friends. <laughs> well, it's on. all business. It's you all are. business. Listen, you guys are just practicing. <laughs> You're supposed to be helping and encouraging. No. It's not war. Yes. And when uh -huh. uh, every time she was on the nine ball, she would, like, get her towel and make sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, she's ready oh, to yeah. make it. You know, she treats it like a, it's a real match. So. Well. Hey, it is. <laughs> it is a real match, I guess. You know. You mean even when she's practicing? Talk. Yeah. yeah, when yeah. she's practicing. Well, at least talk. Hello, yeah. nice yeah. shot. It's you're not dreaming. Not pinch yourself. You're there. <laughs> yeah. You want to get a? How about we get a? Take a break. Nothing. <laughs> you know. We're running early. No, no, no. I was talking about the the conversation between oh. the girls. You know. Oh, hey, okay. good shot. You no, want to take nothing. a break? Nothing. That's how she learned. You, know, you don't yeah. speak to your opponent. She made no eye contact with me. Yeah. Nothing. That ain't played. fun. <laughs> Why don't you just, you know, play the ghost? So you're there to have the fun. Yeah. And she's there to well, get real I mean, no, a little I bit of both. I'm you not like there it? to practice. I'm I there know. to have fun. No, I'm just saying. You guys were bearing down. It's good. I understand that. But That's cool. You guys were looking like you were playing for food. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, you know what? That's the way you train. Yeah. 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 Well, all right. So how are we sitting here? We got 4-4? Four, four? We got a hard 8? No. Upstate? Oh, we got a new lead? Oh. Yeah. Four, three. Z just went ahead by one, and we're going to watch Emmy. Oh, I'm because sorry. Yeah. Alternating breaks. Yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, well. this, this is the important break right here. Yeah, and we had that tough two ball. I mean, mm -hmm. but it's definitely missable. And uh, that's nine ball. Okay. She made the one ball, which is good. Hmm. That one sitting pretty deep on that rail. So what do you do here, B? You go off the Find left. Find the safe. You go off the left side of one, correct? Yes. Maybe I think we could uh, spin off the left side of one, try and get this yes. cue ball two, three rails down mm -hmm. towards our five, six. Correct. Yes. I think so. I'm yeah. not sure. I gotta you know, take a look. Even if you don't snooker, at least you leave them distance. And well, you could try that. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's one option. I'm sure, there's others. I or like those shots because you leave fire. a lot of distance. Yeah, she might fire. Uh oh, Emily's looking. She might be. She's going to trap this, yeah, down here. She's going to yeah. trap it up. Yeah. If she you get aggressive here because the score is nip and tuck, then, you know, you could make a mistake. I mean, it's a makeable shot, but with the rake, you know, the bridge. and Yeah, yeah, I true. like playing the cue ball down behind the two area, two eight. But she's going the opposite way. Yeah. She's looking to come in on the short side. Yeah, your way was good going off the right side, too. You could get more uh, sharp angle towards the eight, but 
Oh, oh, she, she hit it. Did she hit it? I don't I think, I don't think that she did. Uh, there was no, no wiggle there. Well, she'll let us know. There you go, yep. ball in hand. All right. Yeah, with the rake. That's one shot she will rake. remember. Yeah. Well, she didn't totally give it away here. There's a little touchy little Poe on his two ball, but she should be all right from what we've been watching her speed here. Well, there's uh, Shane Van Boney and uh, Jason Shore, I guess, is trailing behind him by the minute, I guess it's so. So, guys, if you want to come down and get some autographs from your, these two players and uh, take some pictures with them, they're uh, approachable, come on down. Shane don't sleep, I don't think. No, don't he think was he out sleeps. last night shooting. <laughs> Little thin cut here. Is that the four ball sitting up on the side? Yeah, so she pockets it and float the Poe. Oh, watch the scratch. Oh, wow. wow. Very fortunate right there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, so she's got billiard background, correct? And three cushion background. Is she combo, carome, carom, bank? Man, they got safe. some great music here. I can't say it enough. You are the little Man, I'd love American Idol. This. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> American Idol. This is <laughs> the <laughs> voice. This is the timber thing, right? Like the forest. <laughs> I think yeah. Emily played some music. This yeah, is she did. Um, actually, last night she went up to Z and she said, "Do you mind if we play music while we're playing?" And Z goes, "No, I don't mind. I like music." Nice shot. You're gonna win it. You gotta earn it. I wonder if any. Uh, Taiwanese people are out there. Oh yeah, the oh, we're right? yeah. sweating it. We already, sweating had, uh, it. we already had the the language. I don't ah, know how they do it with the keyboard. It's nice. In Welcome aboard. I don't know what time it is out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and we know Scotland's in the house. Yeah, uh, Scotland's pay per view. Close. Yeah, definitely, definitely. They were they were rooting. Jason Shaw's family and, and people out of England and all kind of friends were in the chat in the, in the pay per view. Yeah, Z's um, pretty popular in Asia, so I'm sure there's a lot of people watching from there. Well, since I've been posting this on social media, I've noticed that I'm getting friends requests from... Yeah, same here. <laughs> I, I don't understand the writing, but, yeah. you know, I, I take a look at the profile, make sure they're, pro, you know, pool yeah. players yes. and how long they've been on Facebook. Yes. And uh, a lot of Asians, and I love it. Yes. I love it. Which is um, the main reason why Z wanted to have a match here is just to get some exposure in the U.S. because nobody knows her. Well, she so, should uh, stay more often <laughs> because she's a hell of a player. Yes. Wow, oh, what did Emily do there? Cut she the, cut the she four cut in the right. She cut that ball in? She cut the ball man, in. Man, oh, man, that was a good shot. Yeah, it was. Wow. Oh, it cl I just saw the replay kind of thing. It clicked off, clicked off the seven. She hit it pretty clean, I think. No, it, came, it, it clicked off the seven. Right, I just sort of, yeah. But it was still a good shot. It looks like it goes. Folks, there's uh, so. quite a bit more people that signed in here that are actually viewing this, whether you signed in or not. Uh, we're approaching 250. I'm going to make the announcement again. Right after this, we're going into the Shane Van Boning, Jason Shore pay-per-view match. If you would like to purchase the second day, there's a link above the chat. Just click that link. It'll bring you to Castle Billiards website, and you could select day two of the pay-per-view and you will receive a password and uh, your username and password for the pay-per-view. Also, we're giving away two passes for the pay-per-view randomly to one of our people that are signed into the chat. You must be signed in and respond when your name is picked out of the generator to win that free pass. Also, we're gonna give away a free pass to anybody that purchased a raffle ticket is going to be eligible to win a free pass. Only one person is going to win the pass. Mm. Okay. And um, you have some different information how to get in touch with you, right? Or uh, you can also, you, there's a couple of ways you can get in touch Facebook, with Facebook, Facebook, uh, my personal page, or Castle Billiards on Facebook. Uh, um, I'm watching both of them to look for messages, so either one will work. So you want to purchase a raffle ticket, they're only $5 a piece. And it's going to be the Mez Power Break Q. 
and you will also be eligible to win a free pass for the Shane Van Boning Jason Shaw match, and that will be picked by Scott Simonetti. Uh, I think someone's asking what the raffle is going to be tomorrow, or I'm uh, sorry, tonight after whoever wins the King of the Castle challenge. Right. As soon as we hand them the cash and uh, other little things, they're going to pick the winner. So the winner is going to pick the winning ticket. The winner is going to pick the winning ticket. The winning ticket for uh, the free pass will be picked before the pay-per-view starts, and we'll be getting in touch with you right here in the chat. Or if, if you win the raffle ticket, Scotty has all the information on you. He'll send you an email. you got to respond to him right away so we can get that pay-per-view pass to you. Nice shot. She kicked Good the nine shot. out of the Good way. Shot. Beautiful. I, I'm liking this because this could go, what, 4-4? Four, four? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Got the rake again, got the rake again. Oh. That's again with the bridge is yeah. having a problem with the bridge. Well, she, you know, she hit that. She hit the nine a little too hard, and the cue yeah. ball rolled a little out of position, mm -hmm. which, yes. which that threw her off a little bit. But it was still a yeah, still shot. very makeable. I liked her. Yeah. She, I thought she would make it. I thought she was going to make it. Yeah, from here we didn't miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but that, I noticed, um, yeah, the bridge. Every time she has the bridge, that's, that's why we're wearing the headsets, right? That's it. That's why I said. That's why we're wearing the headsets. <laughs> I got you, Jared. Give me a second. Thank you, Jared, very much for your support, sir. You're always on spot. And just to let you know, October 1st, 2nd and 3rd, AZB TV is going up to Akron, Ohio to bring you the John Mora Earl Strickland match. Oh, Looks like somebody's angle. using a Google Translator. Nice. She's got a good angle on the seven. To come mm. back down. Yeah, a little, a little Z, half a <laughs> Z. So she's going to try and draw past this side, you think, there, B? Yes. So I don't think she's going she, uh, well, no, she to. Oh, no, she's looking to come under. Go, go three Ooh, rails. That's risky. She gets behind that yeah. nine. She could wind up in trouble. She's drawing. She's drawing. Get past that side and we're home. She's got to finesse it, though. Oh, she hit it hard, man. And she, oh, she put a lot of stuff on it. She's Beautiful. Good. Nice shot. Bravo. Guys. Real good shot. Hello from Canada. Five wow, three. What, a, what a nice out. And I'll tell you what, instead of being 4-4, four, 5-3 four, is correct. Yeah, that one hurt. Wow. That one hurt, but she played it right. You know, she had ball in hand, broke it up. And yeah, just she really did play it right. She should have had that game. That six balls, she's six dwelling ball. on it right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's We'll, that's we'll get a shot of Emily Duddy sitting in that comfortable chair, which was uh, purchased for about $1,500. There's two of them for the players. <laughs> they lounge back like first class on a 747. We're going to borrow them. Shane and uh, Shane and Shaw can sit on the folding chairs, and me and you will take them <laughs> oh, for later. <laughs> yeah, well, you <laughs> might hear some snoring. We've been up quite a bit. <laughs> that was a great shot on that eight ball to come back like that. Mm -hmm. My knee was the eight ball or seven? Seven eight ball. balls to the eight. Seven to the eight. Wow, what a great shot. Sledgehammer. Oh. Here comes the sledgehammer. Listen to the crack of the whip. Yeah. She's hitting them with the best of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, shot, open table. Let's see what happens. Three, five go there, Al. How are you looking? A little tough. Yeah, it's a little tough. A little You're going to have to either come above it. Yeah. 
or get to the short side and play it in the side. Wow, that's that's sitting in a bad spot there because you got to come back down for the four. Yeah, and then drag the cue yeah, ball up to the short side if she comes to the you know the right side yeah. of that four. This is gonna be a little tough out. Let's see what she's got. Tough oh, out. she's got the uh, artillery. That's you know, unless she, without a bout. she fires at that 3-5 combo. I mean, it might be her favorite shot in the whole wide world. You know, we don't see her play enough to know. In the whole wide world of sports, the, the whole two, wide three, world five. Could be her favorite shot in the whole wide world. She got funny here. She's looking at a safe. Every pool table in here is recloth with the Simonis 868 jar and also with brand new uh, Aramith tournament balls. Yep. And Delta racks. And Delta and brand new racks. The whole room is, is just looking gorgeous. Somebody was asked. Sorry we didn't see that uh, question in the chat there from Scott Simonetti. Uh, I just had to refresh the, the chat room. Emily's taking a break. Emily's taking a break. Okay, so this is a good opportunity for us to give you a little more information. First and foremost, we want to thank Simonis and Aramith for jumping on board. For a sponsor of this event. We also want to thank Mez USA. Delta 13, and of course, as you can see above also on top is Kamui. John Bateau and the whole crew, we understand. We understand Dan Citron is uh, on his way. We want to thank AZ Billiards Upstate Owl sponsors as we go right along. Lakasi Hybrid, Lakasi Custom Cues. Livestream News Group on Facebook, folks. If you got a Facebook account or accessibility to Facebook in any way, Livestream News Group on Facebook. It's all about live streams. It's a group that uh, we have started. Also, we want to thank the Kings of Vapor and the Tap League. The next match coming up at 2 p.m. or somewhere around 2 p.m. on the East Coast is this match right here on your screen. Jason Shore, Shane Van Boning going at it. Part two will start about 2 p.m. It's a pay-per-view event. There's a link above the chat. You click that and you can select purchase day two and it'll guide you right through the pay-per-view and you'll receive a username and a password. And there is a chat room in there also AccuStats Make It Happen event is taking place November 6th through the 9th. It's the 8-Ball Invitational where the world champions come in and they play in the Simonis Arena. So getting up to date with AccuStats by going to their website. It's the left-hand corner, the top left-hand corner, A-C-C-U hyphen like that, S-T-A-T-S dot com. And uh, also AccuStats will be bringing you the U.S. Open as they do so uh, get over there and get all that information from mr pat fleming jim fredericks and crew also five days from now myself azb tv and nyc grind will be heading up to the turning stone casino alongside the mothership azbilliards.com who will be keeping you up to date the live scoring of all the matches taking place at that event there's 128 players in it that's coming up. And then, of course, that event, that Turning Stone Casino event, the classic, is Mike Suglin's Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour finale. So keep up to date with all that information, folks. The raffle tickets are still available. They have $5 a piece. Scott Seminetti is on the phone right now taking care of people that are purchasing tickets. And if you purchase one, two, three tickets, whatever you purchase, you're also eligible to receive a free pass for the second part of Jason Shore, Shane Van Boning, coming up at 2 p.m. And one person in the chat room, when we say we're going to lock all the names down, you got to be signed in is also going to be eligible to win a free pay-per-view pass this afternoon for the second part of Jason Shore, Shane Van Boney. Once we do pick your name, you have to respond in the chat. Okay, back to the action as Emily Duddy is back from her break. Two 
cue ball doesn't go into the side pocket, but uh, cue ball rolls up into position with an excellent opportunity for Z Ting Wu to pocket it in the same side pocket. Tough little shot here to get position. But looks like she's drawing it. There you go. Everybody's on here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was saying she, I think she's got to go into the three, which she did, and see what happens now. So what are we looking at? Ooh, we got a four all the way down here. Well, yeah, she ran into it, broke it open, yeah. so now she has a shot. But now the four or five has work, and then you got the seven eight up on the top rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's not wired, but it's a makeable combination. But she still has to control the seven if she gets that far. Sure. Four to five could be a challenge to uh, make sure we stay for that seven ball. She wanted a little more angle on that, but she's yeah. okay to get back to the upper right-hand side of this table. Think she's all right? Yeah. Yeah, she can create the angle. Pocket is um, big in the shot. So you got to have all your uh, purchases for your raffle tickets if you want to be eligible to win that free pass. You got to get it in before the end of this match because the door will be closed on that. And also at the end of this match or somewhere just after it, I'm going to lock the chat down and uh, screen capture all the names and give the pass away. And you got to be signed in. Oh, she drew it straight back. She yeah. didn't even try to use the rail. How'd she hit it? She could have she could have cheated the pocket Pretty. a little bit and used the rail. Right. Yeah. Pretty sporty. But uh, she has the stroke, so just draw it back. Why not? <laughs> See, the problem here is she's gonna probably have more of an angle on that seven eight she, combination. I than think she she's wants. perfect. She's pretty good. Yeah. I think she's gonna be good. Yeah. She's gonna come up high enough off the rail and then be able to shoot yeah. into that seven eight. Yeah, she got straight enough on this. Yeah, she's loving it. Well, you see now the seven ball. If it doesn't stay right there, yeah, now she, she could be in she trouble. Do a little move. I, I like I like how she played it there. You gotta control the seven, that's what's uh, in her head right now. She knows she can make the eight. See the seven ball come all the way now, now yeah. she's gonna shot. Wow. Nah, yeah. she's going to come with it. That's why initially I thought she should be straighter on that yeah. five ball. Yeah, the seven just flew away. Now you're at a position where you got to roll this. Mm -hmm. You like rolling this? Yeah. You do? Do I like rolling it? Oh, yeah. It? Off the rail? You can't go jacking up. Well got to roll it. She's leveled up. Yeah, off She's the rail, I like rolling it. She's leveled off. Nicely done. Very nice. Stay down. Good stroke. Nice out. Nice out. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to have to... Six to three. You busy, man? I'm busy, man. I have... Uh, the champ is requesting my attention, Mr. SVB. So I'm going to step out and uh, fill out some tickets. Some people are still sending me tickets, so give me a few. Okay. I'll get back to you. We'll see what happens. Okay. Talk Bye. See you later. See you later. Have fun. All right. Emily Duddy right here. She trails by three by a score of six to three in favor of Mrs. Z Ting Wu. I'm Upstate Al. I'm sitting in the booth alongside the legendary and the boss here at the <laughs> Castle Billiards, Barana Andoni. Pleasure to be here. And there's the Facebook information to get in touch with Scott Simonetti there on Facebook to purchase uh, a raffle ticket for the stick that was donated by Mez Q's. Mez Q USA, Ms. Caroline Powell. Miss Caroline Powell Neal, excuse me. Okay, well, Emily broke and she didn't make a ball on the break. Okay, if you would like to purchase a ticket, 
you get in touch with Scott Seminetti on his Facebook page, and that's his name, Scott Seminetti, right there, and that's his profile picture. Or you can get in touch with Kessel Billiards Lounge and send them a message, and they'll guide you through how to purchase a ticket for that Mez Q that's signed by both players. And not only that, you will be eligible to win a free pass. Oh, does Saturn's she overrun this a little bit? Well, she's going to have a kick between the 6-8 if she got that angle. Yeah, she overran. No, well, she's going to probably just have to mess eight a little bit or spin it around the 6. And what's good about that is if she spins it with nice speed, you push the 2 between the 6-8 and the cue ball and the 2 ball lie there, and there's a possibility that Emily might not have a shot on the 2. Okay. She might be able to see it, but might not be able to pocket it if she locks the two ball up with the eight and somehow and doesn't wire it. Just like that. She might have left it. Her body language is telling the booth that yeah. uh, she might have left it. <laughs> she didn't like that. So right now the score is six to three. When this match ends is when your opportunity ends to win a free pass for the pay-per-view in the raffle. And then when I say I'm locking down the chat, we will do that and run some names of everybody. Just gotta give us a few minutes to generate all those names into a uh, generator. And we will give a free pass away to somebody signed into the chat. Emily Duddy up at the table. She trails by three. It's six to three in favor mm -hmm. of Z Tang Wu. Emily Duddy missing a six ball cut after knocking the nine out of the way. And since then, it's been all Z shooting. And Emily plays a great shot. Yeah, two way shot. Two way, and not only that, touche. <laughs> touche gonna be a little safety battle going on back and forth. That's what I like to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, Emily comes to the table with an opportunity. Guys, if you get a chance to come by Castle Buildings and watch not only the rest of this match, but the challenge match between Jason and Shane Van Bonen this afternoon, come on by. I can tell you, I believe all the VIP seating in those are the, ta the VIP tables there. You'll see them uh, crowded up later on this afternoon. Uh, I don't know if there's any available, but there's plenty of uh, general admission seating. Uh, John and staff here at Castle Billy have set this up just beautiful as far as seating. All right, Jarrett, I'm sure uh, Scott is working on that. He's, uh, he's got quite a bit of names there buying the raffle tickets. Um, he will get back to you, and we appreciate your support. Oh, she elected to play safe, which is a very good safe. She locked her up pretty good. Yeah, I mean, if you can't do it, you know, then don't attempt to do it, you know. Right. This, this gives her a possible opportunity to get back to the table here. And uh, where she sits right now, she's got to play it real, real safe because if Z Ting Wu wins another game, she'll be on the hill. Right. Right. Race to eight. Short. The next match coming up at 2 p.m. between Shane and Jason Shore is a pay-per-view. And the link is above the chat there. You can click that link and go to castlebilliards.com. And you'll see a button that says uh, Day 2. And you can purchase the uh, the pay-per-view for that next challenge match, the second part. Jason Shaw, Shane Van Boning. Shane Van Boning leads in that match, 50 to 33. And it's been exciting. Good shot. Oh, look at this. Wow, what a shot. Good kick. <laughs> Very good. Tanya, we always thank you for all your help and too slow for me and everybody out there that's helping us moderate and people that are signed into the chat or not signed in, we appreciate it and we appreciate you spreading all the information. She 
just looking at the cut at this four ball, which I can see why. Um, John Slingblade, thank you so much also. The, if she, you know, if she does end up missing the four, the eight, or I think the seven ball is going to be able to help her pocket it. See, just try to. Well, that takes care of the seven ball being tied up. And now yeah. Emily's faced with a nice run out here. That's what she tried. She tried to make that off the seven. If she's got this shot, she's got a nice run out here. Definitely. It's a good opportunity. I think she has it. She's just looking at um, where she wants to be on the next shot. She's in good shape here. Well, once again, a six, the six ball comes back to haunt Emily yeah, Duddy. Yeah, I didn't like that shot on the five. She had a little too much angle, and she put tried to put hold it with inside and hold the angle, um, but she yeah. she didn't put enough inside. So well, she's got to try to get the cue ball inside the nine here. Yeah, come she's got to come up with a good save here and get, come in get short. this game Just back. Feather, feather the six ball and draw the rock, and come in short and plant that cue ball right behind the nine. Yeah. It's probably going to be the best shot of the match. Well, she went the long way, and that might have That's been the wrong way. That's a pretty good way. shot. Well, well. When you're ahead six to three, and you have yeah. a chance to go on a hill, you're cutting this ball. It's like planting a marble in a tunnel here. I don't know. Maybe she might bank it. Hmm. I'll cut it. <laughs> Depends. But it, it is a tough cut. She overcut it. She actually caught it back off the rail. Yeah, she so she missed the whole ball. She yeah. might have got fortunate too. All right, you got your tickets. Great. Yeah, Scotty's uh, not in sitting in the booth right now. He's actually off in the office doing some work and catching up with uh, you guys buying the raffle tickets. And he'll be, he will be back here to announce the uh, the winner of that uh, pay-per-view pass, too. Great shot, Emily. She got the game back. Oh, she's going to make it. Now, what do you do? Do you just slow roll this and hold the cue? No. You go I back off the it. rail? Really? Yeah, it's it's a little bit too much. Angle. This makes me cringe when people do this. Just slow roll. It's just what are you gonna do? She plays like it that. like a champion. That's what a how shot. you play that shot. Okay, Miss Champion. <laughs> you don't roll that. Wow, Verona's hitting me with it. Become a man, she said. Hit it like a woman. Yes. Yes, nice shot. If you roll it, you can get a little funny on that <laughs> nine, a little too close to the nine. I don't like it. I like to just make the ball firm with the firm stroke. And you're good. So here you go. Z Ting Wu at six and Emily Duddy hit a local at four. Oh, that was a good save on Emily on that six. Um, Z tried to cut it out. Boy, the way she's putting those balls in that rack. Seems oh, like she's, she's mad. upset with herself. Oh, yeah. She wow. she can get feisty when she's playing. Wow. She gets mad at herself. Yes, yes. I mean, I like that too. But you don't have to slam the balls, please. It's brand new balls and cloth. <laughs> <laughs> John's over there <laughs> playing same, please. We got a match here, ladies and gentlemen. USA, Upstate Al. Somebody rooting for Emily here? Yes, USA. Um, 
Well, Emily is always going to China and you know play them in their home court. So this time she's yeah, playing her. Yeah, she just got back a while ago. Yeah, you're right. Her and Jennifer and the crew. And this young lady shooting is such a sweetheart, right? She really is a nice person. Very cute. Yeah. Adorable. Yes. Off the table, she's <laughs> on the it's table. She's a killer. Emily just announced that she's going to push out. Well, I don't know if you heard the announcement about the uh, Z Ting Wu's schedule. It's like yeah. six days a week. Eight hours or ten hours a day? She said eight to nine hours, and like maybe two or three hours of that day is just her break. Um, yeah, so she said, you know, the most important shot in nine ball in women's pool is the break. Okay, you know. so that's Monday through Saturday she does yes. that. And then on Sunday, there's tournament day yes. in Taiwan, and she plays in the tournament. That's her schedule. Every day, not Every a day, day off. Not a day, wow. Well, you know what? If you really want to become a champion, I think that's the way you, you got to do it. You have to. And, and sure. all those girls in, you know, in those Asian countries, that's what they're doing. And Not only that, they're doing it in the schools, too. Yes. Um, so you kind of have to. Right. If you want to keep up with them. But that's, uh, that's her schedule right from uh, her mouth mm -hmm. of uh, what her schedule is like. She's also going to college she, um, this year. Her f it will be her first year, she said, so. Well, I'll tell you what, I'd like to see her more here in the States. Uh, I think she's a, an electric player. She's got a lot of abilities, and uh, she could compete without a doubt. Definitely. Came with it. Came with that shot, yes. Mm. Thin cut here on the two. But she's got, you know, the four and nine to hold her for position on the three. Well, she's lefty, but she still has three quarters of the table to stretch over. Yeah. Not the easiest Not of the shots. Not the easiest shot. Play the inside of the two and spin the rock behind the three, six, seven blockers. It's probably the shot. But if she wants to get aggressive, she's going to attempt to cut this in. And it could cost her if she misses it. Mm -hmm. And she played safe all the way. Tried using the 3-6, but... That was a good angle. She just hit it a little too hard. Yes, absolutely. Uh, somebody's asking what kind of cue does Emily play with. She plays with a custom Steve uh, clap cue. Nice shot. Nice shot, good speed. Looks like she got fortunate. Oh, I think she can make the two. Yeah, she can. Man, this music's got me dancing in my chair. <laughs> <over>. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we want to give a big shout out to NYC Grind, Allison Fisher, Jerry Tarantola, jumping on board to co-produce this. And back to the action. Definitely got a shot to cut it in. bump yeah it was a tricky little shot there it's 
it's a big game here. Um, probably the biggest game because if Z takes this game, then she'll get on the hill. Yeah. With the three oh, game she's lead. definitely got that but in her mind. Emily, yeah, so Emily, if she gets an opportunity, has to win this game. It's very big. Ooh. Oh wow, I'm surprised at that. The only thing I'm concerned about, and I believe Emily Thuddy actually looked at it as a, she got out of her seat, is the 5-8 at the, upper, the opposite side of the right. table. She'll have to play the short side of that 5. Right. To have that corner pocket in the upper left hand corner. Hmm. Maybe she'll stick safe. Yeah, let's see. You know what she can do? She can actually bank the three into the five eight to break that up and freeze the cue ball up somewhere behind the seven six. Right. It's a you tough know? shot because then you have to focus on two things at a time. Well, come on now. It's I not that tough. <laughs> you can't. You could focus on two things at once. Yes. And that's what it looks like she's going to do. She's going to like to probably break out the three five or nudge it or maybe just play the save. She didn't break it up, and she let the three ball out. Yeah, she did. Wow, what a nice beat this is. <laughs> I gotta You're buy enjoying some of these every records. song here. I gotta buy some of these. I think they're using nice. the jukebox. Well, whatever it is, I don't know. Yeah. I gotta get some of those names. Mm -hmm. I think I need Emily Duddy's playlist if she played these songs. It sounds pretty good. Split the jaws with the three. Whoa, she doesn't want to be too straight. She can use the angle if the cue gets on the rail. Man, did she hit that with good speed? She has to spin up now. Mm hmm. But to get on the short side of the five, not impossible, but she can break it up. If she spins out behind a nine with a really nice stroke and brings the cue ball long down to the short rail somewhere just before the center diamond, she has a chance to break that five up. Now, if she has any kind of three cushion knowledge, she will attempt this shot if she feels comfortable with it. But she's really going to have to stroke it. See what she has in mind here. Unless she can come to the short side. That's what she tried yeah. to do. She tried to do it. She definitely plays three cushion. I don't care what anybody says. And now she's forced with banking the five. Two-way shot. Playing down underneath the six. safe all the way. Didn't mm -hmm. even attempt to bank. Leaving her real long. There's a good save here too. She can just um, cross bank the five up up to the rail here and put the cue ball. She has the eight and the nine as a blocker. Um, in the picture. Okay, sweat it. It's yeah. going to be a safe all the way. Yes, yeah, just um, maybe a touch of inside just to... Ooh, oh, she got no, the kiss of death. Oh, goodness. That was the, the right idea. 
guys, just a reminder, and I'm going to keep saying it and to give you the opportunity to get there. You could, if you only want to buy one raffle ticket, you can. There is, it's a Mez Power Break Q. And when you buy a ticket, you'll be eligible for the pay-per-view events. We're going to, well, not me, but Scott Simonetti is going to pick a name of one oh, of look the at this. people that did purchase a raffle ticket. And you will receive a free pay-per-view pass to the Shane Van Boning Jason Shaw match coming up next at 2 p.m. right here on the East Coast. And the way you get in touch with Scott to get uh, a ticket is right there on his Facebook page. Scott Simonetti, you see Scotty's Facebook page, or through the Castle Billiards Lounge Facebook page. We gotta get back to the action. This Z Tang Wu is taking some practice strokes. She's getting ready, geared up. She's gonna fire at this. Yeah, she is. She is it's gonna fire at this. Almost straight ball. in, so she's uh, making sure that her mechanics are in line and just fire at it. There it is. You see the cue stick jacked up a little bit. She's looking to plant the cue ball right around that area and drift a little bit to the right, about an inch or two. There you go. And had she hit it, that's all I wanna know. What a shot. What a shot. She came with it in the jaws. Yeah, she trapped. good recovery there. She almost scratched. Great white trapped in the corner of the jaws. Wow, what a shot. That'll pump up your... Uh, it's a big game right here. This is a very big game. Your confidence game. with that shot. Man. You have it, Miss Z Tang Wu is now on the hill against Emily Duddy, who has four. We are racing to eight, as you can see, and it's now Emily Duddy's break. It is alternating break. We want to thank everybody that's watching right now, personally in the chat that's either signed in or not. If you're not signed in, get signed in because right after this match, or some within, we're going to have a little while before we actually get started with the pay per view because it's due to start off at 2 p.m. this afternoon on the East Coast, and it's only 12.30 right now on WAZB-TV. Wow. I'm getting professional. We're going to have to start a radio show. <laughs> All right. I was Sorry. thinking of taking some classes. I get carried away. <laughs> um, at uh, Somewhere after this match, we're going to lock the chat down and select one name that's signed in, and you are going to receive a pass to the second part of the pay-per-view, Jason Shore versus Shane Van Boning. Beautiful. Here you go. Emily's breaking. Keep my feet on the ground, will you? I'm getting a big head over here. Come on, Emily. Make a ball. Ooh, sounds like Moran is a little biased over here. Rooting for Should the local. The nine ball? Well, I'm rooting for both of them. I want both I of like them to play yeah. well. I like a good match. You're right. Okay. Sorry, I stepped out of line. He was, she set you straight quick. If she had a whip, I would have lash marks all over me. Yeah. <laughs> well, she made the nine ball on the side pocket, but you know yeah. we're, um, we're not counting that. So she spotted that, and she has a good open shot on the one. Um, she has a, a good opportunity to run out here. You know, every, the table is open. Um. But with this format, you know, with this alternating break, it's uh, you're in a tough spot, right? Yeah, but I do like the format because... Um, I mean, if you're down by that many games right now. Right. You know what I mean? It's tough. Right, if you're down. Y your opponent has to make a lot of mistakes, or, mm -hmm. or you have to just keep breaking and running. I mean, that's basically what it is. And I don't see uh, Z Ting Wu making that many mistakes. Right. So it's going to be a tough spot for... If, if Emily does come back in this match, it's, uh, it's, we're definitely uh, recording it, and we will... Give it to Emily, and she can mm -hmm. put it on her Facebook page. She has over 50,000 followers on her Facebook page, her fan page. And we'll give her this match, and we'll uh, put it right up there. Good. Yeah, and we'll pl also put it up on YouTube somewhere down the road. And May, what's her name? May, May Ying? Is that her name, May Ying? Who's that? Out of New York. She plays in the Tri-States and all the tournaments. May, N-G is her last name? I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, if you are listening, I gave your match from the, 
uh, New York City Championships, I believe uh, you asked me for. I gave you a match to Allison Fisher of NYC Grind. She has it on the, a little thumb drive. Okay. So that is on its way. Do you like this? No, I would have liked her to um, play the inside. Play the right? Yeah. Fall ball into the play bottom In left. the other corner, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe she overran corner. it. I'm yeah. Maybe that's what she was playing. So I just, I just, no matter what, I always avoid combos. <laughs> I just hate combinations. And they don't have to go. I yeah. mean, she hits under the seven ball. The four ball will stay right there. The seven will stay up under the short yeah. rail. I mean, the long rail, you got to be careful. She hit it perfect. Perfect. It's a tough nice shot. shot. But yeah, I would have um, preferred it in the other corner and then come to rails and shoot the five in the same left, left hand corner. But this is this is good. She's in good shape here. Good morning, then, Mr. Levi. Um, Anya, if you can, or oh, one of the mods, please moderate Elmo. Thank you so much. Okay, back to the action. Emily Duddy is trailing in this match. This is what I was uh, a little bit afraid of that. The Cuba wouldn't go far enough um, for the five. You know, I would have hit it a lot firmer and shoot the five in the left-hand corner. You know, but the bank is on. You know, she or she doesn't right. have to do much with the six ball where it is. Right. Well, she can cut it. Maybe she has enough room to cut I it. I hope out. so. She okay. over banked it. No harm, no foul. This is no easy shot. If, if if Z can hit to the inside, play the ticky, rail first, inside the eight, the five ball will drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, she didn't even touch that eight man, ball. Man, oh man, you couldn't pass a fly between there. Wow, wow, what a shot. Very Talking clean. about coming with it, and she's on the hill. These three balls will make her the winner of this challenge match. And it looks like she's a freight train right now. There is no stopping Z Tang Wu right here. Lining up for the nine ball to take the match. And there you have it, there folks. You have it. Very nice the young match, lady, Z Tang Wu, defeats Emily Duddy by a score of eight to four. I'm upstate Al, and I was in the booth with the legendary Baron Andoni and Scott Simonetti. And we want to thank everybody for uh, signing on to the chat. And we want to especially yes. thank Verona because thank let me you tell so you much. something. Yes. I'm turning into a wolf, man. The hairs <laughs> on my arms are standing up sitting next to this young lady. Anyway, it's been fun. It's yes, been real. It's been a pleasure. And I thank you so much once again. You're welcome. Okay, I'm just going to bring the folks up to date okay. with a little bit more information as you step out because I know you've got plenty to do. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, folks. Going to bring you up to date with a little more info now.